Dear Provost Drell. Provost Drell. Provost Drell. Hi, Provost Drell. Thank you for the work that you do on behalf of Stanford University. My name is Ryan Mango. My name is Christine Cunningham. My name is Rudy Ruiz. And I am a Stanford University graduate. I graduated from Stanford with a degree in human biology. I majored in biology. I majored in linguistics and I've gone on to earn my master's degree in education. I majored in economics, mastered in international policy studies, and completed my law degree at Yale University. I'm currently an award-winning PhD candidate in molecular, cellular, and integrative physiology at UCLA studying heart disease in women. I currently serve as a sergeant in the United States Army's world-class athlete program. I'm currently finishing my doctorate in education at the Johns Hopkins University School of Education and serving as board chair for the nonprofit Beat the Streets Baltimore, which uses wrestling to help improve the life trajectories of youth. I'm a 2021 Olympic hopeful. I look forward to pursuing an MBA in 2022. I am a wrestler. I'm a wrestler. And wrestling at Stanford. Changed my life. Changed my life. Wrestling isn't just a sport, and what's important about it isn't the medals or any other goals that someone achieves in the sport itself. Wrestling is one of the most inclusive sports. I come from a low-income household, as well as being a first-generation college student. I'm the daughter of political refugees from Brazil. I'm a first-generation Mexican-American college graduate. A female in the traditionally male-dominated sport. I'm the first recruited female wrestler at Stanford University which made me the first female to ever receive a scholarship to a D1 men's athletic team. Wrestling just takes all comers from all walks of life. Growing up in St. Louis as a young high school wrestler, I was plagued by many of the obstacles that African-American youth have to deal with. I had less than a 1% chance of ending up in the top 20% of U.S. individual income earners. Having grown up in a low-income Hispanic household in our inner city neighborhood. I know you're hearing about the first generation college goer, social mobility, but also the physical diversity. You don't have to be born with any particular gift to wrestle. I'm a five foot tall female with a two inch vertical. Wrestling only requires the desire to be pushed to your limits, both mental and physical, to be broken down and to get up and go back and work on yourself again. The foundational principles that Stanford Wrestling instilled in me helped me build goals and gave me the stepping stones I needed to have a successful career. That's what's amazing about wrestling. And that's what I want to focus on. In cutting wrestling, you are cutting one of the most inclusive avenues for our young people to build character. When people ask how I'm able to balance my heavy workload with being a mentor for women in STEM and an advocate for increasing female representation in scientific research, I always tell them the same thing. That after wrestling at Stanford, anything seems possible and everything seems easier. Stanford wrestling really propelled my career, provided me the opportunity to feel prepared to take on the world and gave me the the confidence that I could change the world. I'm one of the few who have been able to beat the odds And for the past 20 years since graduating from Stanford, I have been working to change the odds for others like me. I apply the fundamental lessons I learned during my years as a wrestler to every challenge and obstacle that stands in the way of me and uncovering knowledge and therapeutic strategies for the advancement of heart disease. I'm looking into philanthropic work, uh, giving back to communities that aren't so fortunate as far as healthcare goes, kind of like the community I grew up in. In my work advancing the college career and life readiness of young adults, primarily from urban communities like the one I grew up in, several students I've worked with from extremely challenging backgrounds have followed in my footsteps. Without wrestling and without getting to know who I was through getting pushed to my limits, I wouldn't be able to go down and volunteer at our borders, at the asylum camps across from Tijuana, or the detention centers. Also, I work with the Black Wrestling Association where I'm a board member to give opportunities to children from low-income situations and environments, similar to the opportunity that Stanford Wrestling provided me. I'm able to follow my passion as an immigration attorney and be somebody that other people in our community can rely on because Stanford cared enough to give me that opportunity to continue developing my character while I was a college student. It's that character building is why I'm even involved in this movement. To lose that uh, on campus, I I just think is a real, a real shame. I can't say enough about Stanford Wrestling. It's really changed my life. It gave my life direction, uh, provided me with, you know, foundational principles that I could build upon. It's really something that I'm indebted to for the rest of my life don't make academics the only dimension 
that's too many of our young people are going to be half formed. I am so thankful and proud that wrestling at Stanford University is part of my growing narrative. And it is my sincere hope that Stanford continues to play a paramount role in shaping the lives of smart, talented, and motivated wrestlers for years to come. It's not about the medals. It's not about the Olympics. It's not even a sport. I'm hoping you see. This is a way that our young people can forge into something that more people can rely on in the future. A way that they can give back and increase their capacity to give back in the most inclusive sport that exists. It is my sincere hope that the administration will demonstrate the innovative and inclusive spirit the university is known for. To allow this avenue to be open uh, to others that are going to be coming after me. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you so much.